Welcome back to Film Music Fridays. Today we are going to review two scenes from the 2016 film Hidden Figures. This one starring Kevin Costner and Taraji Henson. Henson plays the role of famed NASA engineer Katherine Johnson, whom at the age of 97 in 2015 was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom given to her by then President Barack Obama. The music to Hidden Figures was composed by Benjamin Walfish. Two of my favorite scores of his happen to be from the films It and The Cure for Wellness, directed by Gore Vidal. If you haven't seen The Cure for Wellness, go seek it out. It's incredibly dark and mysterious and foreboding. It's a great score. His approach to the music in Hidden Figures is very much rooted in Americana tradition. There's a lot of diatonic qualities. There's some modality throughout the music. The two scenes we're going to take a look at here, the first of which is Katherine Johnson in the room of her supervisor, and she's being told really what kind of they're up against and the things that she's involved with. And I love this, this very beautiful melancholy approach that Benjamin Walfish brings to the scene here. It's rooted in low strings, mid-range strings, and very simple kind of piano chords. And I think it highlights um, the beauty and the simplicity behind the otherwise very complex nature of the mathematics that Katherine Johnson is responsible here for. So let's take a look and a listen to this first scene. We'll see you in a minute. Here. It's not an insult to your work. It's just obsolete. That's how fast things are moving around here. If I said I was sorry, I'd be saying it all day. What I'm asking you to do, what I'm asking everyone in that room, all my geniuses, is to look beyond the numbers, to look around them, through them, for answers to questions we don't even know to ask. Math that doesn't yet exist. Because without it, we're not going anywhere. I mean, we're staying on the ground. We're not flying in space. We're not circling the Earth. And we're certainly not touching the moon. And in my mind, in my mind, I'm already there. Are you? Yes, sir. Good. Because I don't need another smart girl with an adding machine. Can I go, sir? Yes, go. Yeah, go. Yes, you can go. For those of you that don't know a whole lot about Katherine Johnson, she was integral in several engineering feats at NACA and NASA. NACA, before it was known as NASA, was a National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics in the late 50s. I think it was 58 or 59 it turned into NASA, um, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. In 61, Alan Shepard, the first American human to visit space, she was responsible for some of the calculations needed for that mission. That mission was called Freedom 7. In 62, uh, Mission Friendship 7, that with John Glenn and his orbital mission, she was responsible for trajectory analysis. And the famous story goes that John Glenn, as part of his pre-flight checks, wanted to get the girl, so to speak, as, as um, Katherine Johnson later would recall the story, that he wanted her to run those numbers once again that the computer had already run because he trusted her and he wanted to make sure those numbers were good by her before he took that orbital mission in 1962. So this second scene begins with Katherine Johnson in the hallway just having given those recrunched numbers to her supervisors at NASA and she's invited in by Kevin Costner's character to be a part of this extraordinary event that's about to take place. Of course that she was such a wonderful help and making sure it could even take place to begin with. So listen to the music here, it's beautiful. The strings, once again, kind of capture the emotional quality of what's happening here. And if you compare it to the material of the first scene, some of the same thematic material, but a lot of it is much higher in the register, so you get a little bit more kind of emotional bang for your buck, and it's a beautiful scene. So the music by Benjamin Walfish. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you next time for Film Music Fridays. Bad 14. Catherine. Come on. 
Sir, we've got pad 14 on the box. All right, let me in. This is Langley. We have the coordinates confirmed. Stand by, Langley. We can confirm the go no go point for re entry is 16.11984 degrees latitude, minus 165.2356 degrees longitude. The launch window is a go. The landing coordinates match. Well, that is very good news, Al. It's uh, a little hard to trust something you can't look in the eyes. That's right, Colonel. Catherine did manage to calculate a few decimal points further than that hunk of metal. Well, I will take every digit you got. Be sure to thank her for me. Gentlemen, let's launch this rocket. Good luck, Friendship 7. Godspeed, Langley. Here at Cape Canaveral, the countdown has resumed as Colonel John Glenn is now aboard the Friendship 7, high above the Atlas rocket on pad 14, a height of over 93 feet. So far, the countdown is amazing.